that loves the way Jesus loves. This morning, Holy Spirit, we just invite your presence. We thank you, God, that you want to meet with us more than we even want to have you come here, Lord. So we just say, we say yes to all that you're doing. And this week, God gave me the word breakthrough, that he is the breakthrough God. So Lord, with this morning, we align and we are looking for your breakthrough, God, for individual lives. We open our hearts, God, and we say yes, we want your breakthrough. God, I thank you that you're just such a um, wonderful God that just loves us unconditionally. And this morning I got a picture of a scorecard and I um, didn't know what that meant, but God wanted to remind me that he doesn't keep score. He already knows the outcome. This is the day the Lord's made. We will rejoice and be glad that today, Lord, we rejoice over those things that you're doing in our church in Stratford in South Jersey. We thank you, Lord, for the pouring out of your spirit that we know that you're doing. We thank you, Lord, for the things that we know you're going to do. But, Lord, we also thank you for the things that are going to be unexpected, those things that are beyond our imagination, our, our thinking, those things are, that are, are way beyond us. And we thank you for being a God that's in control. I declare that today is a day of victory. The Lord is making a way in your wilderness. He is doing a new thing. I just declare abundance over Stratford and South Jersey. Abundance of whatever you want. Joy, faith, hope, but especially love. This morning, Lord, we want to repent of those times we have made you too small, that we have looked at our problems and thought, that is too much for our God. So, Father, we repent. We repent of those times we think that it's on us to make a way. Father, there are times when you want to partner with us and we work alongside you, but there are times, Lord, when you want us to get out of the way so that you can move. So this morning, Lord, we're getting out of the way and we're letting you move. Lord, come and do today what only you can do. While reading Ephesians 5.10, I came to a, a vivid understanding that I want to pray for our family, that we learn to do what is pleasing to the Father and that our lifestyle is an example that is acceptable to him. I had an experience this week where um, the road was blocked. We were trying to drive to school and there were several um, things that were blocking the way. And in the midst of that, I'm just saying out loud, oh Jesus, you've got to make a way. God, you've got to get us there. You've got to make a way. And I couldn't see. And so I'm turning right because the road is totally blocked. And literally as I'm turning, I can see out of the corner of my eye that it was like the Red Sea had parted and we could make a way. So Lord, we receive that in Jesus' name. Again, that you are doing something, God, that only you can do. You are parting the sea. You are making a way, God. We step into it with joy and expectation in Jesus' name. Amen. I partner with my sister in saying that um, here we will build the kingdom. So I declare that all the words it is that we say, all the things it is that we do, all the things it is that we write, everywhere it is that we go, is with the attention of building your kingdom, God's kingdom, and not our own, in Jesus' name. I just declare that today, that we're gonna be fed an amazing, amazing word, and that we're gonna leave here changed forever. I declare that the Father's plans for us cannot be thwarted, that there is nothing that can stand between us and Him, that we will hear His voice, and we will follow. I declare this morning a hunger to know God in a way that they never have before. Lord, to rise up in this community, God. I just pray for a hunger, and even in the children of this area, Lord, that they would even say to their parents, I want to know about Jesus. Can we go to church this morning? Lord, we just release that call. Like it's, I feel like the Lord is making a call out over this region this morning to hearts, and he's saying, wake up, because I want to align and establish and found and ground your family in Jesus. So we say yes to what's going on in homes right now. Lord, how you're doing that. And we pray a release that there would be nothing that would block it in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we pray that we see things through your eyes. We hear things through your ears. We have your heart and we feel love through your heart. In Jesus' name. Um, I had a dream that was personal, but I think it's also good to declare out that um, we 
are free and God is taking the things that we have kept hidden in the past that we have tried to forget about and God is saying hey, you are free and you are safe to open them again with me and that we are just going to um, be in this new season of opening things that we had forgot about that God has placed in our hearts. Pray that God recognizes the love we have for him and we're all here to pray you love. I pray that we have the ability to see with God's eyes, listen with God's ears. And Father, I pray that all of us, our hearts are broken with the things that break your heart. Uh, Friday morning, we declared things for my children's high school because there was a, a football game and a lot of things happened at those football games. And this Friday night, there were no fights. There was unity. There was fun in the parking lot. And moms in prayer can testify that we prayed that. So I declare it here. I declare unity amongst the body. I declare that just like we declared over Timber Creek, we are a lighthouse and we are a church of honor in Jesus' mighty name.